Give us the report card, basically. Where did we make progress? First, what, let's hear the good. Well, you've, you've said it uh, well. Uh, first of all, uh, we have reduced uh, uh, two more countries, eliminated all of their nuclear weapons uh, usable material to bring us down to 22 from 32. That's, that's real progress. Uh, and we've had, we've had countries uh, J from Japan to China uh, that have substantially improved their security of materials, uh, keep them out of the hands of terrorists. Uh, but uh, we've also had, and, oh, and I should say, we've had uh, more than three quarters of all countries with nuclear facilities uh, improve their resistance to, to sabotage. The bad news, however, as you also said, is that uh, there are deteriorations uh, in terms of the political environment uh, in many, many countries, and that can influence, uh, elevate risk. And also, there are new threats like cybersecurity, where we still have. Uh, roughly a third of all the countries with nuclear facilities that have no cyber, no basic cybersecurity protections at all. Uh, so cyber, uh, we point out in this report, is certainly one of the areas where we will be looking uh, for tremendous progress uh, in the next couple of years. So, so, Mr. Secretary, you know, we, we Americans tend to be competitive, and I really, my eye was drawn to the list of where we rank among the 22, and we just put up a couple of slides, one of which indicates the, where we rank with respect to the amount of material, dangerous material we have, and that is number 12 out of 22, and with respect to sabotage threats, it's 11 out of 22. We're in the middle of the pack. Why aren't we doing better? Well, I think uh, we need to uh, keep a focus, which, uh, frankly, I think the Obama administration had uh, in terms of uh, elevating these issues uh, as, as primary issues. Secondly, uh, as the uh, Economic Intelligence Unit, which did the uh, research uh, for us, uh, points out, there are, frankly, some governance questions. Uh, uh, among them are things like so many of our senior positions in the government going unfilled for so long uh, in this new administration. So uh, I, don't get me wrong, it's not like we're at the bottom of the, of, of the pack, but as you say, we're in the middle. Uh, we should be doing better. Uh, and certainly consolidation of materials, elimination of weapons and materials uh, is a place where we need to have more focus. Let's talk specifically about a couple of things that most of us think about, and those are Iran and North Korea. What is the level of risk with respect to, for example, first Iran? Is that getting safer or more dangerous for the world? Well, a big issue is what happens, uh, particularly in November, uh, when the president, the administration, uh, have promised to uh, put draconian sanctions on Iran, uh, including on their oil exports. Uh, and the question ultimately is, will Iran uh, continue to comply uh, with the agreement uh, that we negotiated in 2015? Uh, the reason that's so important in this context is that the agreement has an unprecedented and unique set of requirements on Iran in terms of providing uh, visibility uh, into their nuclear program. That, therefore, gives them also a certain protection uh, against uh, sabotage, against theft. So, frankly, if the deal uh, is no longer followed, uh, the, lo the loss of what are called safeguards uh, will certainly enhance uh, the, the possibility of theft or sabotage uh, in, uh, in Iran uh, of nuclear materials, of nuclear facilities.